After a walk-off win in the first half of the doubleheader, Missouri softball looks for the sweep in the nightcap over the in-state rival, Southeast Missouri Redhawks. The Missouri Bats were quiet in the first game of the afternoon, but came alive early in the second. Corinne Genovese opened the scoring in the first inning with an RBI double to deep left field, scoring Sammy Fagan. Two batters later, Natalie Fleming's RBI ground out extended the Missouri lead to four before the first inning even ended. In the circle for Mizzou was sophomore Tori Finucane. The reigning SEC Freshman of the Year was dealing early, allowing just a single hit in the first two innings and in her first home start of the season. The Missouri offense blew the game wide open in the second inning. First, Kelsey Roth hit her 33rd career home run, putting her into sole possession of sixth in Missouri history. Then Paige Bangy launched her first career hit over the bleachers beyond left field, scoring the ninth Missouri run in two innings. Nine runs was more than enough run support for Fanukin, who surrendered just one in her four innings of work, lowering her team leading ERA to just 1.5 as the Tigers cruised to a run rule victory over SEMO. 23 Sports caught up with Kelsey Roth and Amanda Sanchez to get their thoughts on the victory. I mean, we have a bunch of leadership, like Angie and Sammy and Corinne, they're just all like, we need to bear down, we need to like come up and outshow our performance from the last one. I think we're just going to take every game, one game at a time, and to see how that goes, but right now we're on a roll, so try to keep that going. The Tiger Bats came alive in the nightcap of their doubleheader, posting a season-high 10 runs and route to a two-game series sweep of SEMO. Up next for the Tigers is a trip to Raleigh, North Carolina, where they'll compete in the Hyatt Place Invitational. From University Stadium, Matt Weller, 23 Sports.